Kids, I'm gonna jump, you're gonna crunch. Here we go. Donkey Kong! More crunch! Donkey Kong cereal! Yep, it's that time again. It is, of course, another Wednesday in the middle of the month, meaning it's another month to check up on Nintendo Entertainment System Online. So, um, I'm gonna have to guess it's gonna be a short episode, or a short, like, part of this, because, um, well, um, uh, well, I, I, I guess there isn't gonna be a whole lot fantastical games that they put up right at this moment so we're gonna go and check that out right now and see what they've got if they got anything so first off um, they did add something to this update which is uh kind of fine so you know let's go ahead and play like any of these games let's go ahead and play some uh some some ninja gaiden one of the hardest games on the nes now you may look down there and say and look at that, like, we just suspend a menu, and press and hold to rewind. So, it's got that now. It's got rewindable capabilities. So, you know, that way if you're like, oh no, I got hit. But, you can just, you know, rewind, and now you're a game master. You know, just like that. Uh... I, it's a fine feature, I would say. Something that I feel like they should have really added, like, a long time ago. It's like, you know... <laughs> I want this... Whatever what it is, I don't know if it's, like, a dog or, like, a man dressed as a dog. But I took a lot of hits on that, so it's just like... You know, I can just rewind back here and become more of a ninja master. Than I... Than, well, than I was before. A and, of course... <laughs> say that. Uh, press and hold, yeah. I, I guess it's like you press and hold them at the same time. This girl is real far back. Like, I, I kind of want to, like, try to, um, let this game run for a while and see how long it actually goes. I think for SNES Mini, or the, I, I always hate calling it a Mini, but it sounds better that way. Like the Super Nintendo Classic, um, I think, um, it goes back, like, for 45 seconds. But, you know, th that's that's a feature that they added. It's a fine feature to make some of these games playable, I guess. You know, it feels cheating half of the time. Especially if you, like, uh, you know, play something like Zelda. Uh, where it's got, like, an old man in a cave and he's all like, Oh, let's play a money-making game and, you know, you can pick the right ruby. And then you get more rubies. But, you know, they got one of these, so... <sighs> Let's check it out. We got Donkey Kong 3. And I'm surprised they even put this on here. Because I'll be honest. I didn't even realize it was a Donkey Kong 3 until, like, I looked at the, um, trophy for Stanley. I'm like, who's this guy? And turns out there's a Donkey Kong 3. Um... Let's check out the details on this game. Based on the third and the enormously popular arcade series Donkey Kong 3, it introduces an exterminator named Stanley as he desperately tries to protect the flowers in his greenhouse from Donkey Kong. Though this is a deeper story, you know, Donkey Kong steals a woman, Jumpman slash Mario has to save her. This one is about like Donkey Kong destroying nature because he hates nature. Armed with only a can of bug spray, Stanley must force Donkey Kong higher and higher into the greenhouse rafters, though Donkey Kong is off the screen, and the next stage is reached. But not surprisingly, Donkey Kong isn't going to move without a fight, so he sends a wave of bugs, bees, and other creatures towards Stanley. I hate the name, Stanley. Not only must Stanley repel the insects in order to save flowers, but he'll have to keep an eye out for for projectiles thrown by Donkey Kong himself. If Stanley is good enough, he'll be able to grab a can of more powerful bug spray and really get Donkey Kong moving. It all adds up to frantic fun that anyone can enjoy. Well, let's see that. It's very interesting. I never played Donkey Kong 3, even with all the emulation stuff. I never really got around to play this Donkey Kong game, because it's like, well, this is Donkey Kong 3? 
Oh, let's let's check this out. When when is Stanley gonna be in Smash, guys? Maybe today. No! Well, this already sucks. <laughs> Don't go just like bump some hives. It's got a nice little rendition of like Flight of the Bumblebee. No, not my flower. Fuck you, Donkey Kong. Get out of here. Oh boy. Yeah, there's some frantic stuff going on down here. Yeah. I mean, yeah, this is a... Well, I guess I know why this really isn't much of a popular game. It's it's more like a shooting em up, really. But yeah, it is a shooting em up. Just like, uh, kind of a weird one. Because, like, you're not a ship. You're just a dude. You're not finding aliens. You're finding, like, bugs and, like, snakes and a giant monkey. Of course, it's an arcade game, too, so it's like, it's not really one of those games that you can put much attention to. It's one of those games where you can, like, play anytime you, you want, really. Yeah, get out of here, Donkey Kong. I, I'm the king of the greenhouse now, not the jungle. It really would look like you're in the jungle if you probably didn't read the manual, but, like, well, well now it's looking like a, like a forest. What? No! Donkey Kong! Well, <laughs> what a good way to end it. He really went for it, too. But yeah, that's a, that's Donkey Kong 3. Um, I, It's an arcade game. You can enjoy whatever you want. Next up, we got Mighty Bomb Special Edition. In the special version of Mighty Bomb Jack, you started the final zone round 17. The second half of the zone, okay, so it's like, like the final level. Cause like, nobody played this game. I, I... Got no idea what the hell I'm doing now. So, um, so yeah, there's that. Uh, I know where this is going. Please. 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 Uh, and then we got the Wrecking Crew. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, you should have read this, actually. You should have read this, so... And the days before Mario and Luigi became sports stars in their downtime from saving the princess. They tried their hands as one-man Wrecking Crews. With a hammer as their only tool, players take control of the brothers and set out to destroy ladders, rip out pipes, knock out walls, detonate explosive devices. Make sure you... Make sure to plan your path of destruction carefully, as each building is designed as its own clever puzzle. If you're not careful, you can easily trap yourself in a dead end. Well, that's fun. Adding in the excitement and challenges of fireballs, enemies, and an angry foreman <laughs> roaming the building, all trying to stop you from moving on to the next stage. An angry foreman, the, the greatest enemy of them all. Uh, with 100 buildings to demolish and the ability to construct your own, it's a wonder Mario and Luigi ever got back to the as much kingdom. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but despite everything, I don't think this is Mario canon. Or like, M Mario tries to save save Pauline, and then he uh becomes a plumber, and then he thought, well, I should get back at that Donkey Kong for stealing my wife, so I'm gonna steal him. And then his kid saves him. And then, well, I don't know why this is here. I guess it's because, like, you get what I mean. So, I don't think this is real Mario canon. But this is, uh, this is certainly a game that, um, kinda, they kind of wanted you to, um, to do, I guess. Is this, what is this M for? can't really jump, so... Well, I can do this, but, uh... The snake, though. It's this weird snake man guy.
So, so that's it. Is, is that it? Is, is that it? Can I, can I break this down? Oh, I assume not, but like, this guy is still chasing me. Wait, I have to destroy Lattice, don't I? Oh yeah, I could do this in Pac-Man style, huh? Oh! Oh hey, it's like, uh, Burger Time, kind of. Nope. There we go. Alright, so that's Wrecking Crew. I, I guess people might like this game. I guess. Like it's 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 it, it doesn't seem that awful, really. But I don't think anyone's really excited to play Wrecking Crew on the uh, NES online service. I mean, I mean yeah, that's that, that's kind of simple. I mean, I don't know. This one seems fine. It's, it's like a nice little puzzle-ish type of game. Not a lot of going on, but it doesn't really mean like, you know, you need to have a lot going on, I suppose. And I guess Mario... <laughs> I guess it is part of the Mario canon. Uh-oh. I think I'm in one of these dead ends. No! I mean, I guess Mario... This is part of the Mario canon because I'm Donkey Kong. You know, Mario could only, like, jump, like, three feet in the air. Well, three inches in the air, or else he'll die. So I guess he got the power to, like, withstand the, uh... The fall power in this game. Make- only making him stronger. Yeah, I mean, this is a fine game. So, uh, yeah, that's it! <laughs> That's really it for today on uh, on the m monthly. Um, we got Wrecking Crew, we got Donkey Kong Three. We got, you know, this this can still go down over here. Oh, that's how you did it. The rewind feature, you know, I guess will make some of these games playable. You know, if you die like in an unfair way, you know, you can always like go back for a little bit. I I guess that's a fine feature. It's okay. That's something I feel felt like should have been there in the first place. But like, I guess this thing also had like save states, so it's like you can also try to do that. And I guess it really does make it so, because like, you know, I could probably play Metroid actually. <laughs> There's still problems with the service. Uh, mostly with the whole, um, not being able to set control sort of deal. I didn't mind it. But I think playing, like, a lot of other games, especially, um, when I played, like, Mega Man Legacy Collection, I realized, oh, I can change with the controls in this game to my own desire. And that actually really meant a lot, even though those, most of those games are just, like, but, but uh, like, two button games, so it didn't really matter in the big long run of things, but, like, still. It at least gave me some sort of control. I guess playing a lot of Mario Maker made me realize how awful it is. I mean, you know, I could go back, like, you know, this is... This A is jump, and X and B is fire. So I guess, like, they also did that with Mario Maker as well. Oh, well. <laughs> I, I was about to, like, do the rewind thing. Also, I wish that these, like, little things on the bottom of the screen would, like, disappear already. I don't need to see them all the time. It, it, like, I already know what Zealot Z and LR do. Like, there's not a lot of options with this thing, despite it being, like, a very cool thing. I mean, that's all the settings we're getting. <laughs> that's it. But yeah, uh, that, that's the online for this month. They don't have it. Trying to find the Nintendo games you want can be a lot like being... Stand back, son. Or you can go to Toys R Us. Toys R Us has the world's biggest selection of Nintendo games and accessories at everyday low prices. Next time, let's just come to Toys R Us. 